Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today's video is going to be a room tour in my craft room. Um, so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and without further ado I'm going to hop right into it. So welcome to my craft room. In initial glance it does look very messy and very busy but believe it or not that chaos is actually organised. So to start off with, I've got these shelves up here just behind the door when you walk in. These hold all of the things that I'm making or all of the things that I'm selling for craft fairs, Christmas fairs. And this is including my craft boxes, which will be coming soon. And I will be doing a release video on these as well. I've got my branding stuff here as well and some more mini craft kits over there. So that is all kits and stuff to sell decorations and things. Moving on down a bit and you've got a slightly more messy area. That is the dumping box. The dumping box that everything gets dumped in when I don't know where to put it, it doesn't have a home or I'm not sure what to do with it. So that is that box. It does really, really, really need to tidy. But that box is stood on top of this little shoe cabinet, which does actually have some shoes in it. Please excuse Bear, he's playing with a balloon and making an awful lot of noise. But this cabinet does have shoes in the top. Those are brand shoes up there, purely because we do use it as a shoe cabinet. Then on the shelf below, we've got some spare kitchen items. We've got some spare kitchen items there. So we've got the like sugars and things like that that we just couldn't fit anywhere else. What we're not having a full on kitchen anymore. And then, hello there. Down below, I've got my shoes and some leftover spirit syrups as well. Then behind the door, I've got hidden these big frames or big pieces of artwork purely because they didn't have anywhere else to live. And then I've just got this little decorative lantern down here. Moving on over here then, I've just got my tripod which kind of just floats around the room wherever, if like wherever it's needed. Purely because it doesn't really have a home, it's a bit big and I use it so often that it doesn't make it worth it to fold it down each time. Behind here then I've got my another little classic corner with my um, tools box underneath there and then cleaning stuff and a bin sort of bin baggy type things then this is a old upcycle if you don't recognize it there is a video somewhere on my channel with this on and it's got a great big black smear mark which i have no idea what it is on it but hey ho and this house is up in this shelf it's got all of the things that i use to assemble my kits so all of the things that go into it over here i do have the box of boxes that all the kits packed into which is what that lovely attractive piece of cardboard is over there um but i just have all of my kit supplies in there it looks really neat and tidy i know but there wasn't really much i could do in that sense in that drawer this drawer is random stuff that i will get around to diying or using for a diy at some point and this bottom drawer is paints and things and also my sewing machine presser foot because my sewing machine sits on top of the cabinet up here. Now, you might wonder why on earth someone would have a microwave in their craft room. This is purely because I have myself oh, a microwave kiln, which therefore requires a microwave to use it with. And then up on the top, which again looks really messy, it doesn't always look this messy, I have some random teddies that I've tried to save from Bear because they're actually mine and not his. Um, my heatproof gloves for my kiln, the kiln stand, and then the bits out of the microwave that I had to take out to use the kiln as well. I've also got my decorative um, frames behind here. So I've got my Creative Journey one, and this was a rip out of a molly makes magazine i think um and it's i just really liked it i really liked what it was saying i really liked the look of it and everything so i framed it for my craft room and then that's my tickets sort of um memento or whatever so to speak then i've just got this little bowl of extra embellishments and things that i might use for workshops or kits or something Moving on, I'm going to have to move backwards so you can see it, to this ginormous shelving unit. Hi there. Um, so at the top up 
not even on a shelf, just in the gap between the top of the shelf and the ceiling. I have my guillotine. Moving on down, that is my paper storage for everything. So I've got coloured card and coloured paper and playing card and things like that. All things card in there. Then I've got other papers in here, so like decoupage papers, tissue paper. Um, I think there's some cellophane in there as well. Well, the cellophane might be the bottom, actually. There might be something in there. Um, crepe paper. Uh, there's photo paper in there as well. Paint swatches in that one. All things like that that are sort of papery or cardy but aren't plain and ready to be used. Then I've got my flamingo cup up there. That is what I use as a water pot or anything like that if I just need a cup for in here um, where if I'm painting or anything like that. Then I've just got in this box um, all sorts of like kiddie so to speak craft stuff so like popsicle sticks, um, sequins, um, pom-poms, things like that is all in there. This tray up here, which disguisingly looks really, really small, is, well, actually, my super duper tape tray, because I have way too many cut pattern tapes and things for my own good. But that is where that lives anyway and then that white box up there houses all of my trims so all my like, rope off cuts and all my lace trims and things like that are in that one the blue um file binder folder has my zips trims um and like mini like transfer papers and things like that mini swatches and things like that and then the black one has is my bigger pieces of fabric and some lace ribbons and things as well moving on down the shelf and we've got a bunch of jars so this one has all of my embroidery threads in that one's obviously got wool in that one is like wrapping ribbons then hiding behind that one over there we've got glitters this one's got like paper cutters and stamp type things in it not stamps but like paper cutter shape things big spool of lace ribbon there my sellotape just purely so it's easy to get to then these i've got beads like random beads all sorts of jewelry stuff so like jump rings um wire things like that in there all things glue in that one then the is where my lovely glass fused bunting lives just on that shelf then moving down again i've got this marble serving sort of tray which i've used as a tray just to collect all of these pots so i've got colored pens and things like that this one which is a diy on my channel as well has my um beloved calligraphy pen and some of my favorite other pens that pot which is also a DIY on this channel but that was a subscription unboxing DIY has my glue sticks in it for my glue gun that's my everything pens and pencils pot which needs a sort out moving over here I've obviously got DIY painting stuff so painting trays sandpaper rollers paintbrush big paintbrushes things like that in it this one has got pencils gel pens oil pastels um, like graphite and things like that in it as well moving down once again we've got these lovely containers which were actually salad jars would you believe it um with more embroidery threads and other random things in it that one's got glass fusing stuff and frit and things in it then i've got my um molding tools and my scissors in this pot all my paintbrushes in that pot a couple of kilner jars of buttons there another diy which houses my inks and things for my calligraphy then another diy here which holds all of my strings and things on it another diy up there which is holding on to boris's eye bet you can't guess who pulled boris's eye off it was bear hence why the teddies now live up there um then i've got embossing stuff so ink pads stamps embossing powders heat gun it's all in there all sorts of like fabric dyes and like so i've got black dye i've got a pink machine washable dye sort of everything like that then i've got paints so as in acrylic paints in here i think that's everything on that shelf moving down again i've got some pat not pattern but 
oh, can't even get them out. They're like all sorts, well, I guess they are patterned. Different pattern scissors, you, know, you can see the pattern that that one makes on there. Those were actually, I've had since I was like four years old. Because I'm just cool like that. I've got some marbled paper, which I will be using for business cards at some point when I get round to it. Then I've got my earphones, which just sit on the knob here because they have nowhere else to go. This little drawer set, which I made, which houses in it. Let's move the scissors. Can you tell I don't go in here very often? In there, I've got sort of stationery and things that's kind of all of creativity branded. So things that I might sell, which probably need to go on the other shelves now that I've got them. Then in here, I've got everything clay. That drawer is packed to the brim. I've had to mend it like twice because it's so packed to the brim. Then I've got stickers and other like stickery embellishments, all sorts of stickers really in there. Oh, I just dropped one on the floor. Stickers, anyway, is in there. Um, then moving over here, I've got my craft mat, which hides underneath this lovely little grey um, felt box, I don't know, bag box thing that I got from Ikea. This has got all the stuff in it that I will get around to using at some point. So I've got these crowns which didn't really have a home. I've got other random stuff that I use for DIY. Balloons because I have to keep those handy with Bear because he absolutely loves to chase a balloon. And it keeps him entertained for absolutely ages. I've got my... Um, stapler and my whole punch in here as well and other general office office -y supplies then over there hiding behind there i've just got my mini eiffel tower from when me and brad went to paris hiding at the back there there is a tub of sharpies my hot glue gun so that that stays nice and handy because i'm not joking i literally use this thing every day and a tape measure because i use one of those quite a lot as well and it was a little bit of a faff trying to get it all out of the toolbox down there every five minutes then in here i've got all things electrical so like wire bulb things um plug sockets and things like that in there watercolor stuff in here um that's everything for that shelf moving on down the shelf once again i've got these three little pots which were a diy as well those hold like little beads and bits as well this paint palette which doesn't normally live here but i'm trying to save the black paint that's in it so it's there for when i use it again an egg slot which i'd use for like glue or as another palette type thing those have fallen out of my tools box because apparently i have a lot of tools and i guess you'd expect that from a diy i really wouldn't you so that's all my dymo my embosser everything my craft knives in there all sorts of different tools Moving over then, I've got fixings, knobs, and all sorts of attachments and things like that in there. And then in here, I've got extra embroidery threads, um, knitting needles, and pom-pom makers and things like that as well. Moving down a shelf, I've got these lovely um, vegetable and fruit crates. So the top one's got all my wrapping stuff in, so like wrapping paper, tissue paper, things like that. One down then has got all my gift bags in. Um, for using with gift bags. The bottom one is a bit of a lost cause at the moment. I need to sort it out. At the moment it's got my stringers for my glass stuff because they're pretty long and I didn't have anywhere else to put them. And some random acrylic paints which need to go in the paint pot. Over here is where I keep my camera when I'm not filming on it. I'm filming on my phone at the moment. Some scrap paper for doing um, sten not stencils but like designs and things or templates and things my two craft books from Kirsty Allsop which I've had like years and an empty box I think yeah that one's empty so I'm sure I'll find something to fill that one with down the bottom down here I've got a lovely crate full of furniture protector pads and um, tiles and things like that from when I had my 18th party that's the leftovers some um, more gift bags down there that were too big to fit in there and then this is the box of all my craft kits that i bought and things and the ones that i've got in magazines there as well Whew. i'm getting out of breath right so that's that area moving on over here we've got the chest of drawers that me and brad keep our clothes in purely because it was going to clunk up the bedroom far too much i've got two desk pads on the top of this 
because this is where I use to film. So I have the camera this side and I sit the other side to film over it. Over here, I've got my area of stuff that needs sorting out. So if I've got returns or posting items or things that I need to do, it's here. That's a recent DIY that will be, wait, have you seen that one? Yes, you've seen that one at this point. Um, and my to-do list as well. Loon that bear just burst and I haven't had a chance to put in the bin. Hiding over here in this corner of doom, it seems to be everywhere in this room, is also my spare wood pieces which run down the side of the sofa. I try to disguise them with a blanket as much as possible. And I also have my clock on the wall above here. What are you doing? Below the boxes as well, which is right next to the door with all my coats on the back of it. But we'll ignore that corner once again. So as I said, this is where I film. Moving on round, we've got the seating area modelled by Bear, as per usual. What are you doing? <laughs> so I've got the sofa that came from our old flat. We've got a lamp in the corner. The flower lights that I recently made as well hang over there. This is a sofa bed so that it would convert this whole half of, well I say half, it's probably less than half, of the room into like a little bedroom nook if needed as an actual spare room. Down the side here I've got some wadding because I was using it the other day and was too lazy to put it away properly. And a load of old bed slats which I'm sure I will find a use for. And this is also where the bin resides as well as some other craft boxes that I use for my kits but the other ones are way too big to fit down there and the bin needs emptying. This is the stool that I use to get to the high high things up on those shelves as well as sit on whilst I'm filming videos here. Ta -da. Then round behind me once again we've got the footstool. The footstool houses all of my extra stationary needs so I've got all sorts of like notepads and things in there. Bean bag just for extra seating then over there I've got some boxes which I'm going to use for like Christmas hampers and things like that. Power drill, Alexa, off, a knife which <laughs> to have in a craft room a big knife like that but I use it to cut the foam that's down there much easier than using like a saw or something Brad's weights and Brad's football live down there then I've got random like saws fillers and other sort of DIY -y bits down there Bear's box of toys and blankets and things and a box of other random stuff that I need to DIY at some point so that's the TV above it I've got my um oh the glare on that it's really weird um, my silk printed um, leafy picture and my moonlight as well and then over here I've got my papers at the top as well as some trays some um, cotton and things for sewing with and my big sewing box behind it coming down here I've got all of my clipboards which I am yet to attach like other things to they kind of just stay there making the room look pretty for now and then round here is the real corner of doom. This is the rest of my DIY stuff that couldn't fit on those massive shelves around there. So I've got wood pieces, wood offcuts, extra wool down there, spray paint in that basket, um, some picture frames there for doing DIYs with box frames and things, wrapping stuff, my subscription magazines go down there, self-adhesive like films and things then this one's got um the labels are all rolled um fabric off cuts um fabric stiffener felt and things like that in this has got other fabrics in Ugh. believe it or not past this big blue mass of fabric it is all organized i just couldn't fit the big blue mass of fabric in so I shoved it in instead. This is all like cosmetic-y um, DIY stuff so I've got silicone moulds in there, gelatine, beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, things like that. That's the actual only box in this corner that has the right labels on it. Then this one's got again more wool and random stuff like freezer paper, glue, um, projects that I'm currently doing down there in there. I also have my laminator down in the bottom as well. It looks like a shambles but believe it or not it's an organised shambles and I know where everything is. 
which makes a change for once. So if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe. I will be doing a bedroom room tour coming up very, very soon. So make sure to stick around and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss that. If you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.